Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Absolutely loving, loving, loving this game. Thank you for the support on this and the likes and the watches and the comments and stuff. Having an absolute ball. But what I wanted to show you is we are nearly at blue sky, which is absolutely awesome. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. We've got 35.45 kilowatts available power wise. I was thinking of doing some, uh, some more solar panels and uh, I was thinking of doing some more T2 drills as well, uh, which is probably a good idea. But I'm so excited. We are nearly at the uh, at the level that we need to be. I wanted to check our food. Our food is done. Lovely. So what I want to do is uh, let's throw those over there. Uh, we'll keep that one on us. We don't have, we need to get some more bean seeds. Some more bean seeds would be absolutely brilliant. Uh, we'll throw those in there. We'll just keep these. Uh, we'll just keep these turning around as well while we're at it. Uh, beans give you sixty restore sixty health in comparison to uh, to the space food as well, which is really really cool. Don't forget, guys. I, I am taking it slowly in regards to exploring the wrecks. I do know that there are. Um, uh, we've done those. We've done those. Uh, I know that there are uh, that I haven't fully explored the wrecks at this particular point in time, but uh, I will do. Uh, what's that got in it? That's got those lerma seeds. Now, as far as I'm aware, the lerma seeds are actually um, are actually not plants. So, um, so we're kind of uh, where are we at? Ninety three point six four. So they're not actually plants. Um, well, they are plants, but, but you need them for uh, for doing irrigation and stuff like that. So uh, I've been out collecting a little bit of um, aluminium, and I while I was out here, I spotted myself a, uh, believe it or not, a gold chest. So I want to go out and check out that gold chest. Uh, there's another chest over here, actually, as well. So we'll check this one out as well. I don't know whether it's got anything in it. I can't remember whether I looked at this one. I did look at it. So we might deconstruct that. Beautiful. And we'll put our flashlight on. It was, uh, where was the gold chest? It was sitting in one of the nooks over here. So we'll see if we can find it. I don't know whether it uh, just despawns after. I'm guessing that it probably doesn't despawn after... Um, after uh, reloading a game. So what we'll do is we'll go and grab some, we'll stock up on a little bit of oxygen there. We'll get some aluminium while we're over here, uh, as this is our aluminium area. So it was sitting in one of the nooks on this side of one of these big rocks. So we'll keep our eye out for it while we're looking for some aluminium. But uh, we are getting very close. We are, well, not very close. Well, we're obviously getting very close to, to achieving uh to achieving sky, blue sky, which is absolutely awesome. Um, we might grab some iron while we're here as well. I can't find any aluminium. There's uh, usually quite a bit of aluminium over here. So is that a bit of aluminium or is that that's just a bit of uh, floating ice? Huh. Bizarre. Uh, which reminds me, I need to keep my eye on food and stuff like that as well. Uh, there is another wreck over here that we need to explore, but I don't think we're going to be able to explore that. Until such time as we have a uh, as we have a jetpack, so we're gonna have to keep our eye on that 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 wreck there. Right? We we can we just can't, we just can't get up there at this point in time. So, uh, but uh, jetpack is gonna come soon. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. I just need to find where this uh, chest was. So I'm gonna have a look for it and see if I can find it, guys. Aha! Here it is. Found it. A golden crate. Uh, golden seed, golden effigy, iridium rod, uranium, aluminium. Oh, yes. Can we uh, can we deconstruct that? We can. We can deconstruct that. Did we get what did we get out of that? I think we got another piece of super alloy out of that. I knew it was around here somewhere. I knew it was around here somewhere, right on the border of uh, going into there. So. I'm looking forward to. Um, we can probably we could probably stock up on a lot of oxygen and stuff anyway, uh, and uh, and do some further exploration. Now there are some steel bits over in that area right in front of us. There, there are actually some steel bits that um, uh, steel girders and stuff like that. So we probably need to explore that. But what I want to do, I want to go up. Uh, 
I want to go up on the hill and explore that massive ship over there. I think we've nearly cleared that one over there out. Let's uh, just drop in here and grab ourselves some oxygen. Stock it all up. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to need a piece of uh, silicon. We're going to need some uh, some titanium. And we are going... <gasps> There's another one. Another gold chest over here. Ha! Well spotted. Well spotted. What's in here? More golden effigies and more of that stuff. That is awesome. Uh, what can we throw over there? We can throw a bit of iron. We can throw this cobalt over, actually. Throw this good stuff in. Um, what else can we throw over? We've got aluminium. We'll throw the uranium. We'll throw that and we'll grab that aluminium as well. <gasps> beautiful, beautiful. All right. I wonder what those golden effigies do. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah, you can just just see the steel. You can just see the steel hanging out over there. So that's pretty cool. But everything's looking really, really good. We are now just two uh, KTI away from uh, from reaching blue sky, which is uh, which is probably going to be our first achievement on terraforming this planet. So uh, there's our beacon working up there, which is really, really cool. I love the I love the fact that you can put a beacon up there. It just helps so much in regards to exploration. So where are we? Let's have a look. Now, I don't know what happens when we achieve blue sky. I don't know what happens. Do we have any silicon? We don't. Uh, we don't have any titanium or cobalt. We have lots of aluminium, which is going to be really good because uh, we do need to... We do need to uh, keep a stock of that. Precious, we've got uh, this stuff, that, some uranium. Uh, I'm going to, th yep, I'll throw the rods in as well. Uh, these golden seeds, oxygen multiplier, 600%. 600%. There we go, new blueprint received. A uh, An advanced crafting station, yay. All right, beautiful. Let's uh, let's see what we can do with uh, with these. I need to get these seed lermas. I think that's them. I, and throw that in there, and grab that, and throw that in there because it looks like seed lermas are, uh, uh, are no good until such time as we uh, grab a little bit of iron there. Grab some more iron, uh, and until such time as we can uh, we can do our sprinklers and stuff, which I'm guessing. We probably can now. We probably can. We can probably. We may unlock that soon. So I'm going to throw the. Uh, I'm going to throw the seed lermas in there. Uh, we could probably do with a drink, couldn't we? Absolutely. All right. So these golden effigies. Right click to build. And right click to build. I'm guessing we're probably going to need a desk for that. Let's uh, let's make ourselves a desk. Where are we going to put this? Um, we need to proudly. Ah, oh, we could probably display them on here, couldn't we? Yeah, I might do that. I might actually display them on here. Let's see. Right click to build. <gasps> there we go. A golden effigy. I have no idea what it does. Oh crap. I picked it back up again. It looks like a big phallic symbol, that one, doesn't it? Uh, let's maybe throw that one in there then, I guess. Like so. Oh, got my torch on. All right, beautiful. So, uh, T2. A T2 crafting table. What do we need for that? We need three aluminium, two titanium, two silicon, two magnesium. Uh, two silicon, two titanium... Uh, no cobalt, three aluminium, and I think it was two of those as well. All right, perfect. Uh, we might throw that in here, I think. We should be able to build it now. Yes, we do. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Uh, where's the control panels over this side? So you can throw it right in there like that. Perfect. Uh, so that's probably going to, oh, it allows us to do iridium rods, uranium, oh, you need a lot of that. <gasps> T4 backpack, T4 oxygen tank, rocket engine, and a jetpack. Uh, so we need two rocket engines, so we need iridium, uh, uranium, and, all right, how are we going to do that? 
Uh, super alloys we can make as well, which is pretty cool. But uh, what do we need for that? We need three super alloy, one titanium, uh, three super alloy, one cobalt. Uh, not there. Uh, three super alloys. Uh, we have three super alloys. What do we do? Backpack? We, I think we'll do. I think we'll do backpack first. I reckon. I reckon the backpack would be the better one to do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got enough stuff for that. So what we can do is we can actually. Uh, I'll just put this. I'll just put this uh, iron in here for now, just to get it out of the way. Uh, we'll take that off, and we'll make ourselves that backpack. And we also want to make the the jetpack, obviously. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, uh, so we can now equip that, and it gives us a whole pile of extra room, a whole pile. Uh, we've got enough room for a jetpack there, but the jetpack looks like it's going to need rocket engines. So we're going to need uranium. Hmm. Uh, that one there needs C three super alloys. I don't think we have any more super alloys. We've got two. Okay, but we can make one. Uh, we make well, a new blueprint, Drill T3, beautiful. Iron, magnesium, silicon, titanium, and aluminium. Silicon, titanium, aluminium, and iron. I think that was what it was, wasn't it? Let's uh, have a look there. Uh, missing the magnesium in dork. All right, beautiful. Magnesium, one of those as well. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool. I can't wait until we can make the jetpack. So we can make one more of those. Yep. And then we can get the other two out here. And what did we need? Uh, one cobalt. We happen to have lots of cobalt. So we'll grab one of those. Uh, we also need to take that off. Go into there. And we should be able to make that now. <gasps> Yes, we can. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we'll add that to there. Our oxygen goes up to 370. Now, I'm going to eat that. Uh, I'm also going to grab another... I might grab two waters, actually. Uh, and I might grab another ration, although we're probably going to find another ration. I'm going to need to put those away. Uh, might grab that, actually. All right, beautiful. Lovely. I can't believe it's just going so well now. Okay, in here. We'll throw those in there. Um, we can probably... Well, we need that to craft water. Can we craft water on this one? We can't craft water on that, so we're going to need to keep that. I was just wondering power-wise, uh, what do we need for a T2 drill now? As a T3 drill. Uh, two iron, two aluminium, two titanium. Titanium, two of those. We might do four of those. Uh, might grab four of those, and we might grab four of those as well. I think that was right, wasn't it? Uh, where are we? Yes, it was. Okay, beautiful. The other thing that I did do was I don't think I put these. I, yeah, I left them in here. Dork. All right, let's uh, let's go and uh, what are the T? What do they use? They use eight point five energy. So we still have twenty two. So we should be able to put two of these beasts up here as well, which we shall do. Uh, yep, we'll throw them up here. Um, gonna have to sort of reorganize stuff. They give us uh, seventeen pressure and 0.25 heat as opposed to 1.5 uh, and 0.1 so we may be better pulling those apart as well I think maybe and putting those drills in uh, let's have a look let's put them in that way maybe oh oh it spun itself around there's one and <clears throat> we'll throw another one in here I want to try and keep them lined up a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, perfect. Uh, we could probably take these down and throw another one of those in. And I might do that, I reckon. 
The reason why is, uh, do we have enough to, uh, we need two more aluminium. Uh, cause these are, these are drills are doing better. They're doing a whole lot better. So by taking those two out, uh, we needed two aluminium, didn't we? By taking those two out, um, and throwing another one in, then that will actually, uh, that'll increase it greatly. I think we should have enough power. Uh, until such time as we run out of uh, run out of the important stuff, which is wind. Okay, so they're going there now. Okay, that's beautiful. So our oh, our terraformation index is uh, is hooting along. Um, our pressure's going up really, really quickly. Our oxygen's going up. So now we need to concentrate on heat as well. We've got 7.5 kilowatts left. What do we need for our T2s? Uh, we need cobalt, aluminium, silicon, magnesium, and iron. I might throw another one of those in. So we'll throw a few silicon over. Uh, cobalt, we'll throw a few of those over. Aluminium, we'll throw a few over. We're probably going to have to get more. And iron as well. And we'll throw some magnesium over. Okay, that should be good. We should be able to... Uh, I don't think we've got enough room up here to put them in. Although we do, really, don't we? Yeah, we do. So we can probably put those in there. Okay, so we'll throw you in there. Can we get another one in? Yes, we've got enough for another one as well. Let's throw that in as well. Which should bring our power up even more because I do want to sort of move away from... Um, wind a little bit what have we got we've got 46 available now which is really really cool uh heaters we've got a t3 heater we do have the stuff to put a t3 heater in it takes 17.5 energy uh do we need to build a heater room or should we just um or should we maybe just i don't know uh we can probably build two of those i reckon i reckon maybe we can just like, throw heaters in just in random spots, maybe. Like, we'll throw one over in this corner for now. There we go. Lovely. Throw that in. Uh, do we have enough to build another? Oh, yes, we do. All right. So that's going to help us greatly as well. So we'll throw you in too. All right. So that should bring our heat. That should increase our heat production as well. So we've got oxygen pressure and heat production going up very, very, very far. And look at the terraformation going up as well. Uh, in regards to uh, our technology, uh, hydration level low. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Uh, what are we looking at now? We've got uh, we've got a launch pad. We've got an atmospheric water collector. I want to get that at some point in time. We've got a grass spreader at 150 ppt. Oh, we are so close to 150 ppt. Okay, so that is good. Uh, let's throw, let's throw the rest of this. We'll keep one silicon. Um, we will take a titanium. Uh, oh, actually, we probably don't need to, do we? We've probably got all of that stuff out there. I want to go back and uh, do some more investigating as well. Uh, magnesium we'll throw over there. And that in there. There we go. I think it's going, I think this is going really, really well, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Let's make ourselves some more water. One, two, three, and four. And we'll open that up and we will throw those over there. All right, perfect. How's our food going? Our food's going pretty well as well. Okay, off we go. Uh, big wreck up on the hill up here, the, the super duper massive wreck. I think that's the one that we've got to go to over there. So, uh, yeah, we'll go via there and we will fill up on oxygen. Actually, we've probably, we've, we've got enough oxygen to get all the way up to that one up there now, don't we? So that's pretty cool. So we could probably pull this one apart, I reckon. We may as well, uh, uh they're probably good for emergency anyway, aren't they? Now, this was really, really annoying me, so I had to put one of those in there. <laughs> it, was just, it was just in midair, wasn't it? 
All right, let's fill up. Uh, we've got our food here. That's going to fill up 60 health, so that should be okay. Um, just have to go back in and have a uh, have a sip of my cappuccino. Oh, come on, come on. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So there, yeah, there is a, there is a lot more for us to explore here, guys. Um, but I, I sort of we're, we're okay now. We're okay now because we've got plenty and plenty and plenty and plenty of oxygen. So let's. Uh, we should be able to deconstruct that now. <gasps> There's another heater here. We'll deconstruct that. Uh, we will open that up and take the chip, and then we'll deconstruct that. I want to deconstruct the containers that we. That's just another big screen. All right, beautiful. Uh, I want to deconstruct the containers as we go. Uh, it's also good having plenty of oxygen now, which is going to help a lot. Uh, over this way we go. Uh, let's have a look in there. We'll grab those. That's good. There's a little bit more food there that we can have. We'll deconstruct you. Thank you. Deconstruct you. Uh, what have we got on us? Yeah, we've got plenty of stuff there. There's a uh, T2 heater that we can deconstruct as well. Uh, new blueprint, nuclear reactor. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be really really handy, guys. That is gonna be really really handy. Uh, let's see what else have we got in here. Oh, uh, got some more seeds. Another blue chip. Another one of those. I'm gonna leave the rest of the stuff in here for now. Uh, another one of those, definitely. Definitely, definitely. We'll eat that, which is good. And another blueprint. Um, let's just drop that piece of iron, grab that blueprint. Uh, what does this message say? This morning we were in uh, in our 17th days of space travel to Stigma. The ship inexplicably exited hyperspace velocity. Navigation tools went crazy and all of the ship's power went down as if it was drained by something exterior. Uh, we're going to try to make an emergency landing on this uh, unrep unreported planet. I'm not sure what we'll find there. There seems to have been a huge storm. <gasps> oh, we've got to come back in here. I need to go and get some oxygen. Gla uh, yeah, we can do our grass now. Um, you, that sounds to me like this planet is actually pulling ships in somehow. And I don't understand how. Maybe there's something really bizarre going on here. Let's throw in here. Let's build ourselves. I know people have said, don't. What are you doing building? Uh, what are you doing building these things in here? Well, what I'm doing building uh, little, little pieces of storage in here is I'm just trying to, uh, all of the stuff that's not as precious, trying to throw all that stuff in here. Uh, just so that we can actually get as much as we possibly can out of this stuff, so. All right, lovely. Up we go, up we go. Let's go and see what we can do. Stop for a sip of coffee. Most important. All right, let's see what we've got. Uh, it was down here, wasn't it? Yes, it was, and then across. No, it wasn't. Don't get lost. It was this way, and then this way, and this way. And through here, I think. There we go. What have we got in that container? We've got some more of that, some more of that, another one of those. Drink that water bottle. Another piece of fabric there. Uh, we can deconstruct that later. What are more? Open fusion reactor. Can we deconstruct that? We can't deconstruct it. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's uh, yeah, there was nothing. There was nothing important in these anymore. We've got plenty of eggplant seeds, so we'll uh, we'll continue looking around. Okay, I've kind of hit a dead end here. I think this might be. Uh, I think this might be the end of it. It's a shame we couldn't get anything out of that nuclear reactor, but we have our own nucle nuclear reactor now, which is even more awesome. Can we? Is there? Is there anything we can do? There's, there was nothing else we could do through here, was there? Okay, there may be some other there may be some other entrances to this. I don't know. We'll have to have a look around. 
We'll have to have a little bit of an explore around. Okay, we've got another one coming in. We have another one coming in. <sighs> Alright, I'm pretty sure that these do drop resources. I am pretty sure that they do actually drop resources that are valuable. So... Uh, we can see stuff rolling down the hill there, but I don't know whether they appear... <gasps> I've got to get out of here. Blimey. <clears throat> I wonder when that stops happening. Or if it does stop happening. Phew. We are back in. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Man. Oh, that was so close. It doesn't look like it destroys our stuff, though, which is pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that because I was really, really worried that it was all going to, um, that it was all going to just destroy everything. There we go. There goes another one down there. This is so crazy. So crazy. All right. Down we go. So, what do we need? What have we got? What have we got? We've got, we've unlocked a nuclear reactor which needs a uranium rod, two water, and three super alloy. We can do some more food growers, which we need to do. A grass spreader requires magnesium and water. Okay, so let's... Uh, well, we can't grab any of that. What we'll do... We need to get seed growers up. Food growers. Uh, no, we actually need... We actually need veggie tubes. I think we might put some veggie tubes free. So we need silicon and magnesium for that stuff. Let's go into here and let's throw some of this stuff across, which is going to come in really, really handy for making rocket engines. Throw you across, throw you across, uh, throw you as well. We need to unlock these chips as well, so we can probably do that in here. Decode a chip. That gives us a microchip mining speed T2. Okay. Uh, microchip compass. Oh, compass will be good. <gasps> Tier 2 Agility Boots. Okay. Alright, so that's done all of those. The other thing that we need to do is I need to throw this, this, and this over there as well. Uh, we're going to have to throw some more water in. Need these seeds. And we've got another seed lerma here as well. So we'll throw that in there. Uh, we're going to need seed lermas to, to, to do our grass actually, aren't we? I reckon. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll build, uh, I think we've got 11.5. I think we should build a nuclear reactor first. Uh, nuclear reactor, uranium rod, three super alloys and two waters. Uh, one of those, uh, one of those. Throw you over there. Uh, how did we make our super alloys again? Uh, cobalt, magnesium, titanium, silicon, and aluminium. Donkey, uh, we need actually two of those, two titaniums, uh, two cobalts. What was the other, what was the other thing? Ah, oh, geez, my brain. Uh, two aluminiums and two magnesiums. So we might grab another aluminium. Ah, uh, we got two. And we might grab two of those as well. Let's see if we can make another couple of super alloys. Okay, beautiful. And now we need... What the hell were we making? We were making one of those, weren't we? Okay, so we've got enough for that. I want to grab a little bit more iron. Uh, there we go. Because what I want to do is I actually want to put a platform out here. I want to put a platform out here and uh, because we need to, we're going to need to, where are we going to put our nuclear reactors? Not there. Uh, maybe out here, I reckon. I reckon that might be okay. Hmm. I think that, I think that'll actually be pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's make some more of these. New blueprint launch platform. Beautiful. Okay. As far as I know, that's going to help us re. re uh, that's going to help us um, uh, resource wise as well. So uh, let's see. We've got another one in there. 
like that now. I uh, probably need some more iron, do I? Yeah, I'm going to need plenty more iron. Uh, what do we got there? Let's uh, grab some of those. Perfect. All right, I want to. I want to. I want to put these in a particular spot. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to run out here and run ourselves a little sort of veranda area, little platform area. In there, I do love the snapping. Thank you, thank you, game. Uh, can we get that in there? No, we can't. Oh crap. Okay, let's uh, let's get rid of that. Oop, and throw one in here. Right there, there we go. And then we'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that, and we will throw some more in here, I think. Oh, come on. There we go. And out here, we'll throw one right there. We'll sort out the, uh, we'll sort out the bottom afterwards, and that there. Okay, beautiful. Now, I'm not sure how big these nuclear re reactors are. But I'm guessing it's not going to be super big because it's only a tier one. Okay, we don't have any more iron. All right, can we put this in? Let's have a look. Uh, nuclear reactor tier one. Okay, perfect. There we go. Ah, oh, lovely. That should boost our power up hugely now, I reckon. Let's have a look. Uh, 97. 97 that's perfect so the other thing that we want to do now is we want to get some of these seed lerm uh, these grass spreaders so we need the seed lerma magnesium and aluminium grab some of that and uh, we'll drink one of those we'll eat that uh two four six and what else did we what else did we need for those uh two aluminium two magnesium and two seed lermas one two Uh, two aluminium, two magnesium. Okay, that should, uh, so this is going to be, this is going to be the interesting bit. This is going to be the interesting bit is to see what happens here. Uh, okay, so it's got an area, gives you a big area that it, uh, that it works on. Okay, okay. Let's throw one in there and we'll throw another one over... Maybe over here. Oh, we don't want to do it where our drill area is, do we? Let's go up here and start doing it up here because I think this is going to be okay. Um, I reckon this is going to this area is going to be okay um, when we start when we start producing a lake. So, well, there you go. Seeds, 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 seeds. So that produces plus one hundred and eight oxygen. Uh, uses thirteen energy. Biomass plus 0.15 and uh, growth 9%. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that works out. Very interesting to see how that works out. But uh, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I am uh, super excited about moving further into this game. I think it's going to be awesome to see if that actually does grow grass. I'm guessing it does grow grass, but um, it's going to be awesome to start seeing a little bit of greenery and stuff here which is going to be really, really cool. I reckon with all that dust over there, we haven't explored that. We haven't explored that area. Uh, we still, and we haven't explored those over there. So I reckon that area looks kind of almost like there would be sulfur or something over there. So I think in the next episode, we'll probably head out there. But uh, for this episode, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have hit like, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe for far more Planet Crafter. I will see you guys later. <gasps> Biodome. Bye, guys.